That is a very basic right hand claw hammer technique right there. Boom chicka, boom chicka. For the boom part, you want to use your index finger or your middle finger, whichever you're more comfortable with. And you want to use a nail set. And when you hit the string, you really want to bend your index finger. Don't try to hit it with the tip. You really want to bend it at like a 45 degree angle there. Angle of attack is really important. This was a game changer for me. This is, this was a secret. The first secret that I learned later on. And after I learned this, this changed everything. So really bend it at a 45. And you're striking into the pot not down to the ground. The chick part in the boom chicka, you brush across the strings. Most people use their index finger to do that. I use my middle end or ring finger to do that. That was another huge game changer for me. I could not play the claw hammer using my index finger for the chick part at full speed. I still can't do it and make it sound right. But when I switched over to using my middle and or ring finger, just like the index finger upstroke banjo players used to do, it used to be a very popular technique. Pete Seeger, Daryl Adams used this uh, style of playing. They would strike up, brush down with their middle and ring finger. I said, well, why not try that for banjo? And when I did that, that changed everything. So start off trying to learn it with your just your index finger like everybody else does it but if you're having trouble doing that don't be afraid to use your middle finger or your ring finger or both like i say for me personally that was a game changer so those are two huge secrets right there angle of attack and uh whichever fingers you use for the chick part so this is what we have so far boom chick boom chick for the uh and the boom chicka, we're gonna pull out on the fist string, the drone string. We're pulling out, not, not down, not like that, but pull up, pull out. Boom chicka, boom chicka. That's the very basic claw hammer technique right there. That'll get you going. Uh, now, if you wanted to add in another note, like we've all heard of Bumpa Diddy or the Boma Chicka. You can drop them. <laughs> That's a whole different animal trying to learn that. Like. That's where you drop your thumb. And I'm still not very good at that yet. But I'll, I can get the same effect using hammer-ons. Or pull-offs. Or sliding up. Or down. Or hitting a string and then hammering down on a, the string opposite or a different string than the one I hit, like. bump a dee 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 or hammering on. Speed it up. Bumpa diddy, bumpa diddy, bumpa diddy. Pulling off with the pull off, it's bump, bump, a uh, diddy, bump. Also get the bump a diddy with a sliding up, sliding up or sliding down. This would be the bump a diddy, bump a diddy. Or sliding down.
like the cock a doodle doo, uh, but you can go with boom a chicka or bump a ditty. You're probably best going off with one, two, three, four, because if you think about it, there's four quarter notes per each measure. One measure in four four time, there's four notes. And uh, what we're doing here is this is only one quarter note. All this put together adds up to one quarter note. There's sixteenth notes. That is only one quarter note, but that is sixteen. Uh, four sixteenth notes. So there's really sixteen. You can get sixteen notes in a whole measure. If you follow me, I'm getting a little bit uh, off topic now, but. Uh, if you think about it that way and really understand that, that'll change everything as far as music theory, whichever instrument you're playing. Guitar, banjo, mandolin, ukulele, piano, even the kazoo. <laughs> <laughs>